Hello, this is Charles Pigley again from the Tulane University Traumatology Institute in New Orleans. This is video log six, and what we're focusing on is the animal care community. Um, last week I was interviewed by a reporter in Arizona for their Arizona public radio program, and they were asking me about what it was like to work in the animal care community and the challenges and difficulties with regard specifically to secondary traumatic stress reactions. I did my best in trying to answer all their questions and uh, so it was captured in a report there and uh, if you go to go to the uh, uh, Tulane Traumatology Institute uh, website uh, I think we have the uh, link to it. But the thing that was really important in seeing the final report was the challenges that veterinarians have, especially younger veterinarians that um, who are faced with really adjusting to some really challenging and sad experiences. I think that the secret to their overcoming what they have to face will help all of us who face much less many fewer at least <laughs> challenges um, every day I, I I co-authored a book on uh, compassion fatigue in the animal care community and it was really clear uh, when we were doing the research for the book that uh, it was painful I mean just imagine uh, a an owner bringing in a cat and uh, talking about how the cat is suffering so much and that the the professional in the animal care community, wherever it is, whether it's a shelter or whether it's a vet's office, is able to take the animals uh, out of its misery and uh, be able to love and, and care for the animal and make it as comfortable as possible. All of us want that. But to be able to do that on a regular basis doesn't take necessarily a special person in which you're born that way. It's a combination of things, which includes especially uh, support. Support at the location, at the shelter or a vet office. It certainly includes uh, what you go home to and the support that you receive at home from your spouse or family. And uh, it also is important in terms of their own soul and their own heart to recognize that their work is God's work in many ways, whether you're religious or not, that you are trying to uh, relieve suffering, not cause it. So it's uh, a special tribute, I guess, uh, for this video log for those people who work in the animal care community. Bless your heart and we really appreciate what you're doing and please share with us what you've learned because we all have a lot to learn uh, from your lessons and from your success and managing the amount of secondary stress that you do. Thanks for your work. If you could only help me turn this off, that would be great.